A macro generates dynamic content and adds functionality and formatting to your wiki pages. One example of a macro is the table of contents macro, and this adds a table of contents based on the headings that you've added to the page. And this macro is often used for a long page of content, as you can jump to content by clicking the automatically generated links. Click edit to view the code that adds this content. As you can see, the macro is a very small piece of content. The identifying feature of a macro is the curly brackets or braces and the name of the macro is inside the curly braces and reflects the macro function. So here we have TOC or table of contents. To access the macro browser click edit, place your cursor in the page where you want to add the macro and then click the macro browser button. In the macro browser window, you can see a context-based menu on the left-hand side which groups similar macros together. You can also find macros by typing in the search box here. So I'm looking for the recently updated macro. So click here to select the recently updated macro. In this window, you get to preview how the macro will display in the left-hand section of the window. In the right hand section you can change the output of the macro. So here I'm going to change which type of content is displayed in the list of recently updated content. I'll type in page and then click refresh to see how that display will change. Click insert to add the macro and then click save to see the macro in action.